In this video, we're going to be breaking down the best blitz in Madden 24 by far. It's not even close. This is by far the best blitz in the game. We're going to show you how to run it, and we're going to actually break down some really cool tactics to make it even better. Now, if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, this is out of the multiple defensive playbook. You can get that entire defensive ebook for just $10 uh, by becoming a Patreon member today. The link is going to be down in the description. Cool part about the Patreon is get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. We dropped a ton of updates to this specific defense throughout the year. There's a lot of different ways to run it, and it's kind of evolved throughout the year and, and truly is just the clear-cut best defense in the game. Now, the big tip that I have for you with this is to put a Lurk Artist Defender here on the right-hand side of your screen. I think that makes this defense a thousand times better. I also like to have a Lurk Artist Linebacker at both of these positions. I just think it makes the defense play better. Um, you don't have to do that. Uh, but I just think it helps with the run run defense aspect. So again, you don't have to do that. But uh, my advice would be for sure to have a lurk artist linebacker at this position. Even if you're in regs, have a lurk artist linebacker right here. And then you can put safeties back at these positions here. All right, so let's get into the blitz. Real quick, coaching adjustments, auto flip off, auto alignment set to base. Option defense on conservative and zone coverage is going to be on default with no zone drops set. The play we're going to look at is free safety zone blitz, and the setup for this is we are just going to press our coverage, we're going to pinch our defensive line, and then we are going to back off the slot corner on the right side. Now, you want to do this as quickly as possible, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to hit triangle or Y, you're going to hit X on PlayStation or A on uh, Xbox, and then you're going to hit the icon of the slot receiver. So in this case, it's going to be R1, and then we're just going to flick the left joystick or right joystick up. As you see, it's going to back him off. What this is going to do is it's going to make it harder for them to pick this up. And then we're going to put our safety on the left side and a hook curl. Shade outside and underneath. It's really important that you shade outside and underneath. And then from there, a lot of people like to roll out. So we're going to contain and then we're going to manually re-blitz this left side guy. So you see, this is what the defense looks like. And then essentially what you'll see is this guy will come through the A-gap pretty much like 75 to 80% of the time on a four-man pressure. So the cool part about this, and this does work a little bit better in game than in practice mode, but the cool part about this blitz is you can also do this with a ton of disguise behind the blitz. So as you notice, I'm not moving my user. If you want to make the blitzing aspect of the defense a little bit better, I would say I find it to be a little bit better to stand about right here and then kind of like basically distract that guard. As you see, the pressure comes in. But the other cool factor about this defense is you can actually run this by using this defender right here. So let's say we're not super worried about the rollout or we're going to maybe, you know, utilize this cloud or this hard flat on the right to defend the rollout. Then all we're going to do is as soon as the ball is snapped, we're just going to run out like this. As you see, that pressure is still going to come in pretty good. And it's only sending three people at the opponent. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent starts to do some, you know, different types of pass protection methods. And really, in my opinion, the best pass protection method would be to slide their line to the right and to block the running back typically. And another thing that they're probably going to do when they do that is they are probably going to go ahead and double team either the nose tackle or the defensive end. So you see this kind of like the pass protection. Now, this is a pretty good pass protection. But what I would tell you is if you send this slot corner on the left-hand side, a lot of times this still has a chance at being able to come off the edge, as you see. And at least they're going to feel uh, the pressure aspect of the defense. So that's a really cool feature of this defense is, is it's not just that it can get really good pressure against, you know, for a, a standard pass protection. But against a lot of different types of pass protection, this is going to be a very effective way to, to blitz somebody. So you'll see here again, and this time I'm going to double team, or I'm sorry, I'm just going to block my running back, and we'll do the same thing. And as you see, we get a disengage right up the A-gap. So the cool part about this is, in general, it's very difficult to pick this blitz up when you send the five-man. So you want to obviously be strategic with that. You don't want to send the five-man every single time if they're sending the running back out. But if they're blocking that running back, especially against a formation like Bunch, this really you know opens up a lot of coverage opportunities for your defense. So my opinion, this is the only defense that you need to really master in this game. And it, it really starts out with this alignment right here. Obviously, there's a lot of other things we can do from this defense. But the cool part is having a three-man A-gap blitz that you can then use with the D-line out of. Really, really, I mean, it's just hard to get a better defense than that right now. So 
Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get access to all the coverage adjustments, the full guides, uh, the full ebook that actually explains how to stop certain formations, how to adjust, and how to make these blitzes kind of work together based off what your opponent is doing, all of that information is in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks, offensive and defensive ebooks throughout the year, as well as all the updates. So if you want to get access to that, link is going to be down in the description below.